C is old, like rotary phone and no seatbelts old. It's been powering everything from your microwave to Mars rovers for over 50 years, but it hasn't exactly aged like fine wine. Enter C3, a bold, slightly rebellious attempt to give C the glow up it never asked for, but maybe desperately needs. This is Patch Notes, and we're asking the question, did someone just give C a midlife crisis and make it awesome? Welcome to C3, the rogue child of C. Started in 2019 as a side project by someone waiting on C2 pull requests. Yes, really. C3 has spent the past six years quietly evolving into a legit alternative. Version 0.7.0 just dropped, and it's not just a syntax tweak, it's a philosophical shift. So what does C3 bring to the table? Well, for starters, it finally gives us a real module system. It adds semantic macros and compile time reflection so powerful that it might just make your old C processor cry. Generics are here too, but they're lightweight and not the mind-bending kind. Error handling gets a massive upgrade with zero overhead returns. And yes, there are built-in slices, SIMD types, gradual contracts, and even debug-only runtime checks. But don't expect it to hold on to the past. C3 doesn't care about being backwards compatible. It's not interested in running on your grandma's toaster. And it's definitely not trying to out clever Zig. C3 is unapologetically modern. It's like your cool uncle who rides a motorcycle, but also pays his taxes early. But why reinvent C? Because C, for all its power, is kind of broken. There's UB lurking in every pointer cast. Memory management feels like juggling chainsaws. And error handling? If minus one means catastrophic failure, maybe we need to talk. C3 says, let's fix the mess, keep the performance, and ditch the historical baggage. It's not trying to be Rust or Zig or Go. It's just C, but tolerable. How it actually works. C3's compiler runs on LLVM. So you get all the modern optimizations without giving up your old C libraries or your hatred for CMake. It keeps the C ABI so you can drop it into your decades old code base without rewriting your life. And for the new stuff, it's got smart little upgrades everywhere. Instead of typing out std colon colon io colon colon file colon colon open like you're writing a novel, C3 gives you a path to shortening so you can just write file colon colon open and move on with your life. Contracts like at require and at ensure let you define function expectations like you're a lawyer with a coding fetish. And error handling? No exceptions, no go-to, just clean returns with question mark tagged on. Oh, and yes, you write FN for functions because it makes lambdas easier. Don't overthink it. How is this different from Zig, Odin, or Jai? Okay, real talk, Zig is like CrossFit for programmers. It's gonna make you suffer, but you'll be better for it. Odin is all about joy. It wants programming to feel like playing music or eating ice cream. Jai is still in beta and somehow has the mystique of a secret society. C3, it just wants to be normal, like sane, useful, readable, boring in a good way, normal. It's low level code without the sharp edges. The creator literally said, if you think something is missing, just add it. So it's not about locking you into a philosophy. It's about giving you the tools and getting out of your way. Is anyone using it? Surprisingly, yeah. And not just for side projects. Someone built a Game Boy emulator. Another one made a roguelike, because of course they did. People are writing RISC-V bare metal demos, OpenGL, graphics, and CLI tools. There's even someone who called it the smoothest C integration experience they've ever had. So yeah, it's not just a fun GitHub read. You can use it today and people already are. But let's be real, will it survive? That's the billion dollar question. C3 is cool, but the graveyard of better C language is crowded. D, NEM, V, hair, carbon, RIP, you name it. The challenge isn't tech, it's culture. If you're running a massive C code base in production, convincing your team to switch is like telling NASA to replace the space shuttle mid-flight. But if you're starting fresh, building your own tools, doing embedded work, 
C3 just might be the Goldilocks option. Modern, minimal, and not allergic to your brain. Final thoughts. C, but finally comfortable. C3 is what happens when someone looks at C and says, let's keep the soul, but ditch the trauma. It's not here to change the world. It's here to make it less annoying. And honestly, that's kind of heroic. Try it out. If you've ever screamed at a segfault or written your fifth string copy wrapper, C3 might feel like a warm hug wrapped into a compile time macro. That's it for this one. Like, subscribe, and remember, sometimes the best revolution is just removing undefined behavior.